हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू ए न्यू वीडियो एंड दिस इज द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वेर इट हैज बीन आस्क विच काइंड ऑफ डी एस पी प्रोसेसर बीन यूज इन द ऑटोमोटिव इंडस्ट्री फॉर द इन्फोटेनमेंट सिस्टम एंड वाट आर द आर्किटेक्चर सो यू कैन टेल लाइक देर आर थ्री आर्किटेक्चर वन इज वोन ह्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर हावर्ड आर्किटेक्चर एंड सुपर और modified howard architecture so in the next parts i will explain you what is the advantage of uh, howard architecture and the super modified howard architecture over von neumann so let's start with the von neumann architecture so here you can see the memory and cpu is there and the instruction and data both are present in the same location of the memory and cpu is accessing the memory through the address bus and the data bus so the processing speed is very slow as the memory is being uh, shared and the data bus and address bus are shared so if you see this architecture was being used in the late of 90s and now those are being replaced with the super howard architecture so i will explain you in the howard architecture how it will be advanced so here you can see the cpu uh, is sharing the program memory and data memory separately through the data bus and the address bus and uh, so uh, the memory uh, processing speed is very high not uh, very high as compared to the super howard architecture but as compared to the von neumann architecture the processing speed is high as uh, the address bus and data bus are separate so let's start with uh, the super howard architecture to know more like why the processing speed is more so uh, super howard architecture or the sark these are the famous uh, dsp controllers that has been used in the industry and here if you see mm -hmm. in the cpu they have one mm -hmm. instruction uh, catch memory so catch memory what it basically do is like it is a storage uh, which is uh, very fragile in nature and having a very high speed of operation so from Uh, by uh, using this catch memory the uh, uh, program from the program memory both address and the data has been fetched uh, with a, within some milliseconds or microseconds because it will give you a storage catch memory basically what they do is like they will store uh, the part of the instruction so that your processing speed will be higher so uh, it is uh, like you can uh, consider it as a small kind of uh, memory location where the currently used address and the data are being stored so that in the next instruction cycle when you want to execute them again uh, it will it won't go into the deep analysis of the memory and the data memory it will just fetch that instruction being stored in the catch memory and it will reflect you back so this uh, sark uh, processor are uh, being used from 2000 onwards and they ha they have higher uh, quality of processing and it is being used in the dsp algorithms and if you see in the normal like uh, audio infotainment system like hamann sony uh, everyone is using uh, the sark uh, processor uh, for uh, the advantage of the data processing so uh, now it is for von neumann architecture they are not using anything or uh, everything is migrated into sark or howard so uh, like in the next couple of video i will uh, introduce you to the uh, con microcontroller type that has been used in the audio industry thank you guys thank you for watching this video kindly like subscribe to my channel if you want to have more interview question related to the automotive industry and here i will let you know the kind of project has been used in the automotive industry